Yeah. <laughs> What's going on guys? So we decided to come out to Sunset Cliff and I hope you guys can hear us. It's Sunday. Sunday evening. We decided to come out to Sunset Cliff and enjoy just a nice breeze. Um, listen to the waves. Have a nice quiet conversation. And what happens? We get this guy beside us pulling up, blaring his music, smoking, smoke going into the car, music all loud. Like we like for real. So we start the car up to move. Y'all, tell me why the battery dead. Uh, so we stuck beside this rude dude. We waiting for um roadside assistance to come. But yeah, that's our Sunday going. Other than that. Very peaceful. What'd you think, babe? Yeah. Peaceful? Yep. We not let nothing steal our positive vibes. Nothing. Not even the rude dude. What's going on, guys? It is Monday. Y'all haven't vlogged in a while. Honestly, I, I was not in the headspace to vlog. I, I felt... <sighs> Y'all... It was this sadness spirit that had took a hold to me. And we was in a battle, y'all. We was in a serious battle. Um, and I had to overcome this sadness spirit to let it know it was not going to win. Because sadness spirits can easily turn into depression spirits. And I just didn't want to go into a place that I had been before I know what that feels like depression is really really a serious ser it can be a really serious state of mind and it's like a mental prison you're in there fighting with yourself but um I was able to overcome it and I'm looking for what am I looking for let me tell y'all what's going on Y'all, El Diablo, the devil, is always after you. When God has something for you, the devil is like, uh-uh, we're not going to let her get to it. We're not going to let her think she's going to have her victory. It's just not going to happen. Not if we can say so. So the devil has started lining his minions up, getting his army ready for battle. But you know what? I got my war clothes on. God was like, I got this. I got this. Stand down. Y'all, as y'all can see, yesterday, we went out to... um. Uh, sunset cliff and wanted to just sit out there and enjoy the breeze and the waves and just sit out there in peace and you know just have a nice calming quiet conversation and this guy pulled up playing real loud rap music and I'm sorry I'm over 50 so you know I don't some of that stuff my kids listen to I'm like ugh but anyway he pulled up playing real loud music smoking a blunt our windows was down so the music the um the smoke was coming in the car it was just ridiculous and so rude so we tried to roll up the windows and realize the car wouldn't start a battery went out so we had to call roadside assistance they came and gave us a jump but by the time they came and gave us a jump we had been subjected to this dude for like over 20 minutes he actually wound up driving off so that happened yesterday. Got here last night. El Diablo is busy, y'all. Got here last night. Everybody winding down. You know, Shane got to be to work. Quana have to be to work. So I have to get up to take Shane to work. And we hear boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, what the? What is that? So at first, I was like, I know Quan is not in there jumping on that floor messing with this man, knowing we packing to leave up out of here. So I opened the door to her bedroom, and she's like this sitting up. And I'm like, so that wasn't you? She was like, no. I was like, no. No. It couldn't be. Quarter to midnight. I was like, there is no way. So Shane immediately jumps up and run down to check on Quana's car. Nothing is wrong with the car. Mind you, she doesn't park in her assigned parking space. Hold up, y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm, I'm actually 
parked in her assigned parking space right now. This is her assigned parking space. I parked here this morning because I moved the car here this morning. Quana, and I know I said this in other vlogs, but just, you know, for people who seeing this for the first time or wondering, have wandered into this channel. So you see how far her assigned parking space is? Right by the building? Quana parks over there. So she parks over here at this parking lot because it's actually safer for her car. Her car has been vandalized twice in this parking lot. Once while parked in this parking space when she had a great Saturn, maintenance guy bust out the window. And then when she got a new car, she parked it in a sign parking space where I just left and he pulled the side view mirror off. So Shane gets up, runs across the street, checks on the car, nothing wrong with the car. At the time our charger was parked at the end, we walked around and make sure it wasn't keyed up, nothing wrong with the car. So, Shane started to head, hold on y'all. Shane started to head back into the apartment. I was like, no, 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 no. This is ridiculous. I'm knocking on the door. So, I knock on the door. He comes to his kitchen window and I say, are you okay? Is everything all right? He doesn't say anything at first. I said, so are you okay? He says, that was payback. Excuse me? He said, that was payback. What are you talking about? Were you guys here early? Here early? I was like, no, we, wasn't. we haven't been here since yesterday. I was like, so what are you talking about? That's payback. Well, she was thumping over my head this, this morning, disturbed my rest. So that was payback. Wait, so you wait till midnight to conduct yourself like a 10 year old child? I said, Ernie, um, that was very juvenile. That was very juvenile. You guys need to stop protecting her. Wait, so you want me and my husband to move out the way so you can harass and target her? That's your idea of letting her quote unquote grow up you want us to stand down stand aside move away so you can harass and target her he was like I don't have to talk to you you're not my name you're not my tenants well if you knew the law dumb dumb if somebody moves into a residence and get mail they're now a resident so no technically I'm not your tenant but I am, the lease does now govern me too. So I am a tenant of the property. I have a key. I can get in and out that door. I can get in and out that gate. So no, I'm not your tenant because you're just a maintenance guy. And the guy we thought was the owner, Chad, uh, we found out as a real estate agent. He's not even an owner. When we withheld the rent and we went to court to answer because in California you can answer the eviction and then the plaintiff has to has to set a court date so everything can be heard. We did that two weeks ago. Do y'all know they still haven't set a court date? The owners have not set a court date. Chad's name is nowhere on the paperwork. Let me tell you how good God is. So, my son just texted me and he's staying in Fontana with his girlfriend because she's pregnant. So, they're going to try to work it out. And so, he just moved into his place. My other son, my youngest son is in his place. My daughter is moving into a new place. Me and Shane are looking for a place. This is a conversation me and Shane had. When you walk by faith, that is not an easy walk. People think, oh, I have faith and, you know, God is going to protect me. That doesn't mean that there won't be challenges in your way. Y'all, we dealing with this man that a while back, a while ago, maybe five years ago, I would have jumped on this man and told Shane to finish the job. I would have had no problem jumping on him. None. Had no problem especially messing with my children my children are my kryptonite i don't care how they are if she turns 40 and i'm 60 and i see somebody after her i'm gonna have a problem with that i'm gonna have a problem with that that's my child i carried her for nine months she ate everything i ate she went everywhere i went for nine months without me having to think about it and then after that until she was 18 she well up until now we always together now, do I always 
Do me and my daughter always get along? No. We we women. No, we don't. She's strong willed and so am I. Do we always love each other? Absolutely. Will I let anybody mess with my child? Absolutely not. Me and my daughter could be in a full blown argument. Cause at this point, this is an adult, this is not a adult child relationship. This is an adult adult relationship. She still is my child. She's not a kid anymore, but she's still my child. So I'm not going to stand aside and, and watch somebody harass and talk to her and be like, oh, well, she's wrong. That is not my mentality, sir. Wrong making model for that one. So at this point, I was talking to one of the neighbors. He said, I know you guys are leaving, but I really hope you don't drop this because this guy needs to be gone. I really hope you don't don't just leave and say, oh, well, we out of here. We're done with it. We don't have to be bothered with it. He says something really needs to be done. And being that you guys have the strongest ammunition, you guys could get the job done. He said, all I'm asking is when you leave, please don't stop. So the neighbors are tired of him. See, this is the problem. Everybody in here says he's a bully, but everybody kind of runs around him or try to navigate their way around him. Wrong making model. This bully did not do his calculations correctly. He did not do his body language calculations correctly. Normally when people are intimidated by you, they avoid you. They don't make eye contact with you. They don't avoid any type of interaction with you. We didn't avoid any of that. When we saw him coming, eyes straight on him. We would look at him like, okay, we see you never said anything to him because we didn't want the conflict and we stayed quiet that that was a sign of intimidation and it actually wasn't it wasn't we wanted to avoid the conflict we weren't afraid of the conflict we just didn't want the conflict so when we kept quiet he took it as okay i can progress let me put my foot on the gas let me advance and not one point did he stop he started speaking recently he was like good morning i would walk in he was like good morning and I was like, this dude is weird. Like, how do you go from being hella inappropriate to now you're saying good morning? That only was so what he thought, I'm going to drop their guard so I can start being inappropriate again. My daughter has told him several times, don't knock on her window. Knock on her door. The day before, yesterday, he comes by knocking on the window. It's disrespectful. My daughter flew off the handle. I was like, oh, here we go. My daughter is not at a stage where I'm at. My daughter is at a stage I used to be. Where if you trigger me, I'm going to react immediately. When this man started speaking, I was like, okay. All right, good morning. In my mind, I was like, okay, so he know the boundaries. He 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 see us, we see him. He know, you know not to go certain places. No. This is the way this psychopath, sociopath, no, well, I'm going to get them to drop their guard so I can be inappropriate again. So now, I guarantee you, I got to go ahead and get my iPad. Anyway, so now, oops, sorry about that, y'all. So now, he's just started speaking. He thinks we've dropped our guard. Actually, we haven't. Like, if you're going to be cordial, we're going to be cordial. But don't be inappropriate so we won't be inappropriate. Because we're going we're gonna to address you more aggressively than you're going to address us. And... He was at one point running down the courtyard um, from my husband at the initial altercation. And actually, that's why I don't have any of my nails on because during that altercation, I um, broke my nails. And I had to let my nail beds rest because I cracked all my nail beds up. Now, after last night, this man knock takes the broom and knocks on the wind on the floor talking about this is payback now he got to deal with my husband i guarantee you he's not gonna walk around nowhere around this courtyard because he don't want to deal with my husband because my husband said i had to be to work you don't get to do that he didn't come outside at all at all he didn't come outside at all when i knocked on his door last night he said this is payback we're moving you're an idiot I get my iPad. Oh, I left everything in here. Y'all look at all these boxes everywhere. 
Like, we are literally packing up to move. Nothing on the walls. We are packing up. Boxes everywhere. This place is a mess. Boxes everywhere. But he said this payback. This is payback. All right. That's fine. Let's see how he like the payback he about to get. Because at this point, I'm not playing with this guy. So, what happened last night is, instead of arguing with him when he said this is payback, I called the police on him. Now, at this point, I'm going to call him to get fired. He don't even know. His days are done. I'm going after his job. There should be, he should not be in here being able to harass and target anybody like that. That is ridiculous that he feels comfortable enough. And like I said, I guarantee you he's not gonna be outside until you think we're gone. But nobody has answered the court thing. So we have possession. We have possession of the property until they answer. That's the rules of the game. So now even if we take our stuff and move to our um, new location, we still have possession of this location without having to pay rent. Oh. Without having to pay rent. I can guarantee you, he not gonna wanna see my husband. And my husband was like, I gotta go to work and this is what he do? Okay, but um, anyway, y'all let me tell y'all something. When God has a blessing for you, it's gonna be some trials, tribulations, it's going to be some challenges that you got to face. It's going to be your victory is not going to come easy. That's why they call it a victory because you're going to have to fight for it. I stood outside that guy. I said, God, please help me not to react or respond in my flesh because I'm, I'm weak right now and I want this man to pay for what he's doing. And I know it's not my battle and I know the battle is already won, but I'm tired. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of this dude what grown man in their 60s takes a broom and knocks on the ceiling talking about this payback? So if you was wondering why I wasn't vlogging, this is why. I wanted to come back with my channel being positive and redirect my channel. But you know what? This is my life experience. These are my challenges. It is what it is at this point. But it's not going to be what it is. This will not be what it is. This situation is a learning experience because I've never dealt with it. And let me tell y'all something. I've never dealt with anything, anything like this. Anything. This man moves like an emotional woman, vandalizing cars, talking about payback. I told him, I said, at this point, you're acting like a juvenile. He was like, what is she? What are you, crazy? What's wrong with you? Like, what mentally is wrong with you? But let me tell y'all something. She's leaving a place. When we called the police, when I talked to the police yesterday, Oh, maybe I should go this way. He was like, she's leaving. A, her rent right now is $995 for that one bedroom. It's not inexpensive to live here in, um, in San Diego. She's moving to another bed, another one bedroom, paying $1,200. But at least it has central air. $1,200 and it's larger. She has to leave here because of her safety. To go to another place to pay more money. The police were like, this is a civil matter. You can sue him. You can sue them. We will. This coward is going to stay in his house. This coward is going to stay inside all day long after he did what he did. I already told him, I said, because Shane was standing on the steps. I said, you want to deal with him. We both know you don't want to. Because at that, in, at, that, at that altercation, when he acted a fool, this man was literally down like this. Can we talk about it like men? Can we talk about it like men? We gave you the opportunity to talk about it like a man. You wanted to be in female mode. So, and, and let me just say this. We didn't bother him after that. After we saw how scary he was, we left him alone. So that whole incident last night, look, we sick and tired of being sick and tired. The police was like, just keep calling us. Well, we're gonna let him know. Shane already said, no, I'm going to have to talk to him. So, being that Shane said, I'm going to have to talk to him. And I told him he was going to have to face my husband. Um, He's probably not going to be out or avoid being out for the next week. I'm done with it. Um, That's just the truth of the matter. We're moving, but he can't let us move 
without doing something. I just wanted to really come back on a positive note because I was going through a lot of stuff mentally and dealing with this whole situation. It was just starting to consume me. And that's why I stopped blogging because it, it really started consuming me because I really started thinking about stuff that I could do to get back at this man without getting arrested. And I came up with so like, y'all, I ain't gonna tell y'all some of the stuff I was gonna do. It wouldn't have got me arrested, but it, it, it would have provoked the crap out of him. And that's why I say I don't like bullies. But this battle, he won because we're moving, but he didn't win the war. That war is already won. I'll talk to you guys later. Till next time, we're keeping up with Des. Y'all, when there's a major change in your life, El Diablo is gonna get busy. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.